next is around being able to uh, you know, achieve what we call product market fit and conduct customer development, okay? And, and create that repeatable sales model that generates sales. And starts off by understanding, you know, some of the fundamentals about your customers, okay? And, and finding the, you know, you need to identify the customer problems that you're addressing, the solution that you're offering, okay? And, uh, you know, if you get that right, that's called the problem solution, uh, you know, fit. And then you have the product, which is uh, the, you know, uh, you need to make sure that your product actually provides the solution that you're proposing. And then there's a market for this. There are enough people facing the same problem in order for it to make up into a, uh, you know, into a market. And they're also willing to pay for it. The problem is big enough so that people are willing to spend money on this, okay? So what, if you achieve this, that's called the product market, okay? So you start off by listing down your assumptions or hypotheses around these five areas. Then you go out and start talking to customers. Now in the hyper accelerator program, we actually get into quite a bit of detail around, around this process. We, we get into creating your sales funnel. We get into identifying the best ways to position your business, the best way to approach your customers, the best way to actually build that repeatable sales model. And uh, you, know, you use that to, to essentially talk to as many customers as possible. Okay. Once you get into that habit, you'll start realizing that your assumptions, some of your assumptions might have been wrong. So you come back and you pivot. Okay. And then you again, keep continue talking to your customers in order to validate those. And you do this process until you reach, achieve what we call the product market fit. Okay. Once you have a product market fit, that means you have achieved quite a bit of, uh, you know, progress uh, with this. You can use that to start replicating this. At this point, you would have good handle over your cost of acquisition of your customers, and you start executing on your repeatable sales model. Okay. Now, this process is a little bit hard, especially because you need to talk to a lot of customers, right? And often people lose track of, uh, you know, what they need to achieve. Uh, to kind of achieve in order to, when they're talking to customers, you get into the sales mode, right? But in order for do the, doing the customer development, you need to essentially answer these eight questions. And we have developed the, these as part of the customer development bingo, okay? So when you're talking to your customers, keep this bingo card handy, okay? And if you check off all the boxes, that means, uh, you know, you have achieved the product market fit or the customer development bingo, okay? So again, we try to make it easier for you to execute on this and we try to make it uh, you know, much more uh, you know, effective and much more uh, you know, easy for you to kind of track this when you talk to your customers. 